Hey everybody, I'm Alex of Gameworks, and welcome once again to Let's Try. Today, we're going to be trying this new Steam game that just came out, Super Static. Um, I already played a little bit of it, as you can see, and so we're going to get to, into it soon, but first off, let's look at the settings. Um, they have pretty basic settings, which is nice, like, honestly, oops, sorry. Honestly, a lot of these indie games kind of don't have all the settings they probably should. So, I'm glad that, like, like they have all the resolution settings, full screen, v-sync, frame rate smoothing. Same with audio, like nothing fancy, but you know, music volume, sound volume. Uh, miscellaneous settings. This is actually pretty interesting. Fuck, what's happening? Um, they made sure that like, if you really don't like the t fact that the text kind of bounces around, you can turn it off. Which is nice. <laughs> um, I personally like it, so I'm going to leave it on. Um, taking off tips. Taking off... Pff, I have no idea what that fuck that is. Uh, and then you can change the color of your rectangle in-game. I'm going to make mine red, actually, just because... I don't know, fuck it. All right. Um, so that's that. So let's get into the game a little bit. So, as you can see, I've already played a little bit. Um, I'm probably gonna start on part two, because part one's pretty much just a tutorial. Um, just to give you an idea of what's going on in this game. And that concludes your first week now. We're making solid progress. We'll continue on Monday. Feel free to take the elevator out. Thanks. Maybe I will, bitch! I'll take whatever the fuck I want! Woo! Okay, so... <laughs> I'll take whatever the fuck I want! Uh... This is just a little intro part, but, so, the main gameplay of this game is very Hotline Miami, but, but, unlike a lot of games, it's not just a clone of something the more successful that came before it, because it has one very specific mechanic that I'm about to show you, so you can do the normal things of, like, you, you know, oh, fuck, oh, shit, no, shit, ah, gotcha, nice, good me, so, just like Hotline Miami, both you and all the enemies are one hit kill, which makes the game a lot harder. Whoa, you're not dead. You're not dead. You're not dead. I thought you were dead. Um, fuck, I'm gonna get fucked. No, they, they just forgot about me, I guess. But, um, so there's that. But in this game, you can do this, by which you can possess your enemies and make them kill each other and make them kill themselves. Uh, and then reload with electricity and or combo points for some reason. Uh, but, um, so that makes the game play and control and just kind of be completely different. Like, there's obviously a lot of similarities between Hotline Miami and this, but it plays very differently because when you're playing as these guys, they don't suspect you until you start shooting, right? So it doesn't matter if you die as those because then you just go back to your normal guy. So, it, it completely changes around the gameplay. Um, one thing it does do is let them make the gameplay a lot harder. Holy shit, this game is so hard. Fucking out of- oh, damn it. Um, case in point. Like, if you get hit by anything, you're dead, right? Like, this game is extremely hard. As you may have seen on the menu earlier, I only got to level 3. I barely beat this. This is only the second level. Fuck! And it's already super difficult. I'm taking you over. Uh... Die, 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 die. All of you fuckers die. Okay. Um, it's a really, really hard game. Uh, but it can be because it lets you have these abilities where it kind of gives you extra lives and kind of lets you look around the map, kind of plan for shit, cheat a little bit. Ah, fuck. Um, but yeah, you're probably going to see me die a lot in this video because holy shit, this game is hard. So you can only possess people inside this little circle. Not only, but it costs you a lot of extra energy to possess people outside of the circle. Die, everybody. Uh, fuck. Okay, I think I can make it through now. So yeah, that's most of what this game is. Damn, I'm doing so much better this time. You kind of make a path through the level. Oh god, this part's fucking impossible. With your guys, or the guys that you possess. Oh! And then, you use that path. What the fuck? Okay, well. Oh, he just went and shot me. What a bitch. Okay. Uh, and then you use that path to kind of get through. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, this part's really hard because there's not a lot of free fuck cover for you at the beginning. So you kind of got to duck and weave. Nope. Stop. 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 Okay. Um, dead. Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, whatever. Um, fuck, I don't have a gun. And you can find these little generators that heal you up. So you do get a gun as your main character. If you can get a gun, you can, you know, go through it as yourself, but, like, it's next to impossible. Like, the real way to play this game is possessing the other enemies, ah, and making them kill each other. Um, 
you know, so they're just not up here. But you also, fuck, you also can, if I didn't suck so much, it'd be a little bit better. Uh, come along and make them mm, do it yourself. Uh, look at me, I just did that. Uh, but the real way to do it is to use these guys to kill each other. That's the way the game is designed, and that's how the game plays best. Um, so it's really hectic, and honestly, a lot of fun. Uh, the art style is not super 8-bit, but like, and not super stylized, but it kind of doesn't have to be. Like, the game works- oh god, I don't have a gun. The game works just fine, not being incredibly stuff. Oh, fuck. Uh, being incredibly stylized. Because it's just fun. Like, honestly, like, I, I started playing it and I was worried this was just gonna be a Hotline Miami clone. But it, the game's honestly just a lot of fun. Um, just like possessing guys and like making them kind of burst a way through to make yourself a path. It's just a really nice mechanic, really well done, and just a lot of fun. Uh, fuck! <laughs> that is the only thing I will say. Once too often, I do get killed by someone completely off screen that I never could have seen. Fuck. Oh, God. Sometimes it gets really intense. You get into really intense firefights because it's one shot. If you die, if you get hit, you lose. You also have to be careful because, again, a lot of people will come sneak up behind you sometimes. So if you get so wrapped up in playing as that other... Fuck! As that other character, <laughs> you can... Ooh, I want your gun. I want your gun. Fuck, I didn't mean it. Oh, God. See you later, see you later, see you later. Fuck. Give me your gun. Okay. We good, we good. Fuck. <laughs> so yeah, no, there's a lot of really nice... I forget that my punch doesn't actually kill him. Uh, there's a really not there's a lot of really nice hectic moments in this game. Uh, if anything, I wish that the art style might be a little nicer, but ooh, I like this guy's gun. Um, but it's just kind of a it's a nitpick, if nothing else. Fuck. Yeah, it's that's that, that's more of a nitpick than anything because it's it's a it. Oh my god, it's a fun game. Plays well. Mechanics are all solid. Really well designed. And they stop you. They they balance it pretty carefully to stop you from exploiting uh, any of the mechanics. Like there's certain mechanics where you can make the guards kill themselves, so it would be feasible to just go through the game, make every guard kill himself, and then that be it. But it kind of costs a lot of energy, which you can see in the top right bar, uh, to make guards kill themselves. So that stops you from doing that. It's just a very well balanced game, except for how fucking hard it is. <laughs> Cause holy shit, it's very hard. Um. But it's hard in a strategic way, right? Like, if you can figure out how to make it so that you're kind of getting, you're possessing these enemies to have them help you, it stops being that hard. Let's talk with this guy. Take it easy, man. I fucking swear I didn't know anything would happen. What the hell did you do, Jacob? Some guy paid me off. I need the money. You needed the money? All right, I wanted the fucking money. I can't help it. They told me they just needed to find you. I didn't know. Dot, 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 dot. You don't need to do this, man. I think I can, like, choose to kill him or not. Last time I killed him, but I'm, this time I'm gonna leave him alive and just see what happens. Killed self. Okay. Cool. So I actually beat this level a lot faster than I did last time. Uh, but that should, that should tell you, it still took me a while. Hospital, let's go. Dot, dot, dot. Um... I still haven't beaten this next level yet, so we'll see how I do, but like, that's the main thing of this game. I don't know if it's a positive, I know it's a negative. I think it'll be different, I think different people have different feelings about it, but it is a very difficult game. <laughs> uh, I'd say harder than Hotline Miami. I definitely did not have this much difficulty on Hotline Miami. Gotta really plan your first... Ah, god damn it. Um, yeah, like I said, the one shot, one kill on everything is a real... Uh, is a real like it really adds a lot of Interesting difficulty fuck to the game Can I get you can I get that guy I think I can get that guy um, Especially since I love the fact that like because it's just the enemies they they don't notice that you're evil until you start fucking killing them ah, so Yeah um, That's that's pretty cool. So you can kind of explore and like find the best way through for a bit before you start shooting 
Even though that takes a lot of energy to do, but you know, whatever. Fuck! Whoa, I didn't even see the guy that shot me. God damn it. Um. But yeah, and by getting combos, you can recharge your, like, possession meter or whatever the fuck it is faster. Fuck, I don't have a gun. There's no ammo in this thing. Or this thing. Nope. Also no ammo. Or this thing. Uh, two ammo. Okay. Better than nothing. Fuck, why? What? It just, I just saw it. It had two ammo. Okay, this one had two ammo. Aha! Okay, now I got one ammo. Four, sweet. So yeah, there's also like very limited ammo. Like you definitely are much better served by possessing your enemies than. How did I miss every single shot? Man? What the fuck? Oh, okay. Well, whatever. Um, you're much better served not putting your. What the fuck is this guy? Did I glitch the game out? Why won't he die? None of these guns have ammo. Christ. Wait, hold on. I'm just gonna beat the shit out of him. Alright. This gun has one ammo. And die! Oh. Fuck! <laughs> yeah! Sweet! Okay, this part's next to fucking impossible, I swear to god. Die! <laughs> Oh, oh, shit, 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 shit. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about me. It's fine. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> this video is just, I'm just gonna title this video fuck in all caps. Oh. Oh, God, this game. Whew, it's fun, but holy shit, it is not easy. Not a super easy game. Um, yeah, you got it. It's it's pretty. It's almost a puzzle game if nothing else. Like you have to be very strategic about the way that you use. Fuck. Um, the way that you use all of your god damn it. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. No. Yeah. The way that you use your possession ability. I can get a goddamn sentence out. What the fuck? Oh, it's because I keep running out. Fuck. I'm gonna murder myself. No, 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 oh, God. Yeah, no, the, the one shot, because, like, mm, that one shot thing is really... Who is shooting and why? Fuck! They're shooting at me! That's why! God damn it. Taurus can get me through windows. Oh, well, that makes sense, actually. Um, fucking... I'm gonna try this one more time and then so yeah this is the game pretty much it's pretty much just this uh there's actually one other ability that i haven't showcased yet um which is that fuck 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 yeah fuck. Uh, you can if you don't possess someone you can just take your little guy oh fuck uh you can possess people and make them detonate if you have enough charge i don't have enough charge at the mo but mm. But you can just make them explode, but it takes like a lot of energy. So again, it's well balanced, not like you just kinda hack the game by just making everybody detonate. Cause that'd be a little bit dumb. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay. <sighs> That's it for me. <laughs> this game is exhausting. <laughs> so, like the video if you like to like things, uh, subscribe to the channel. Check out our other videos, check out our main series. We just released an awesome video about The Last of Us, one of my favorite games ever. Check that shit out. I'm sure it'll put it in the end slate. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. See ya. Music in this game are absolutely perfect. I can't stress enough how perfect the atmosphere of the same theme of surviving and finding hope and meaning in loneliness, isolation, and danger. They also know how to make the themes hit hard.